Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Denver again, and today I'm really excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with MRTK. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on MRTK with iOS and also Android. I'm going to be building to an iPad device, which is what you see playing behind the scenes, and show you how you can interact with the example that the MRTK team included in their example package. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna be downloading the packages that are necessary. We're gonna be setting up the project with the iOS platform. We're also gonna be looking at player settings. And lastly, we're gonna be changing the profile for MRTK specifically in order to work with AR. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be building today, which is to run one of the scenes from the examples of MRTK. You guys can see that I'm using my iPad to basically select the different cups. You can also do selection and all these bounding boxes have different implementations. Some of them allow you to either you know grab the edges for rotation you can also do resizing in this case i am just moving it around trying to see what different features each of them offer so i'm just resizing this one this one also has a bounding box that allows me to resize it i can also you know rotate it as it shows and it's going to move it around and i really enjoy how fluid the this implementation is and i mean the biggest reason for using mrtk is that it's going to allow you to work not only with AR Foundation and AR Kit and AR Core, but also with HoloLens, Magic Leap, and other VR devices. So you can see that this works really well. This one's really cool because you can basically show the bounding box or not by using the menu. I can also you know, resize it if I wanted to, but if I wanted to adjust different areas, I can just basically toggle an option. So that's everything that I'm gonna show you as far as like we're, what we're gonna be doing. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump into Unity and start showing you what we need to do to set up the project. All right guys, so let me show you what we need to do to set up the project. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. Make sure that you're using 2019.3.x versions because that's the one that is going to be compatible with MRTK. So let's go ahead and click on create. This one I'm just going to label, we can just say Unity MRTK for iOS. This is also going to work for Android. I'll just show you what needs to be changed in order for you to do that. And then let's just click on create. So I'm also going to be putting this information in the description, which is basically gonna walk you through what I'm gonna show you today, which is to set up a project in MRTK and be able to use it with AR Foundation, iOS or Android. So let's just wait until the project finished creating and I'll show you the next steps. All right, looks at like the project finished. So a couple of things that we're going to need to do is we're gonna go into the link right here, which is GitHub. And you can download the GitHub, basically the MRTK tools from this link. They also tell you here that you can get it from NuGet. So you have those two different options, either GitHub or NuGet. In our case, I'm just gonna do it through here. I already downloaded the examples because we're gonna be using one of the examples to basically, you know, the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video to push it to my iPad. And we're also gonna need this one, which is going to be, it's gonna make AR Foundation work. So I already downloaded the, both of them and, and then I just went into the Finder and then you guys can just you know open it up. So the first one that I'm gonna do is going to be the Unity the Foundation 2.3.0. It's going to decompress and we're gonna be importing that into Unity. We're gonna tell it to import everything that we have here. So it's gonna say import. All right guys, so it looks like this is done. It's gonna pop up basically an MRTK project configurator. We're gonna have to change it anyways. For now, let's just go ahead and hit apply. And it's going to apply a few changes to our project. And also everything that we just downloaded is gonna be under assets. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and go back into my finder. And we did the Unity Foundation. Now let's go ahead and download the example. So I'm gonna double click on that. And we're also going to be importing that package. Let's go ahead and click on import. It's gonna take some time here, so we'll just give it a few seconds. All right, guys, so it looks like everything completed. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you what we're gonna be building to the device, which is, again, what I show you at the beginning of the video. Go into the experimental, and we're also going to go into demos, UX, and then bounce control. This is gonna be the one that you know you saw playing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on bounce control examples. It's gonna tell you if you want to import the T TMP Essentials, which is basically Text Mesh Pro. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit import to import it. And then once we get it imported, we're going to be looking at few, some setup that we'll need to do. The, the first thing that I did before is we don't need this big text here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. And we can just get rid of that. 
And what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the exact same demo that I show you, like I said, in the beginning of the video. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go into File, Build Settings, and then we're going to add it. I'm also going to be changing the, basically, the project platform. So let's go ahead and click on iOS, because we're going to be building this to iOS. But if you wanted to do this in Android, you have to basically just change it to Android, and then you're going to be following other steps that I'm going to show you. For now, let's just go ahead and do iOS, and then switch platform. All right, guys, so as soon as you change it to either iOS or Android, you're going to get an MRTK project configurator again. And this is because it's no, it knows that we're selecting iOS, so it's going to change everything to work with iOS. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Apply. And once you hit Apply, that should be done. Now we're going to go into Player Settings. And there are a couple of things that we'll need to do in order for this to work. So make sure you look at the iOS version or the Android tab here in the Player Settings. So we're going to be building to iOS, so I want to make sure that I show you how that. The camera usage description is going to be populated because it's going to know that we're going to need the camera. The other thing that you need to make sure is the minimum iOS version is going to be 11. And then I think everything else except this one needs to be unchecked. So the strip engine code needs to be unchecked, and that is something that is in the documentation. So make sure that you set that up. And if you're doing Android, just make sure that you, you, know, you, set, you set up all the different settings to build to your Android device. For iOS, this is all we need to do, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. The last thing that we need to do as well, well, there's a couple more things. So I'm just going to go, first, we're going to go into the Package Manager. And so far, we have, you know, MRTK Toolkit. We have the examples. We switch to iOS or Android. But we're going to need the plugins in order for us to work with, you know, AR Foundation and also either AR Kit or AR Core. So because we're doing iOS, this is what we're going to need. So first, we're going to need these for both, for either Android or iOS. So I'm going to go ahead and download AR Foundation. The version is really important here. So we want to make sure that we stay with the version that is in the documentation. And that is going to be 2.1.4. So this is going to be the one that we're going to install. Let's go ahead and click on that. And once we, we install this version, we're going to be also downloading the AR Kit XR plugin or the AR Core XR plugin. Again, that depends on what you want to do, if you want to do Android or if you want to use iOS. All right, so it looks like we have AR Foundation. Now let's go ahead and search for the AR Kit. So we're going to be installing the AR Kit XR plugin. And if you wanted to do, again, for AR Core, all you have to do is just search for AR Core. And you're going to see that there's also a XR plugin for that. So let's go ahead and go back into AR Kit. And I'm going to just go ahead and expand all the versions. And the version that we're going to need for ARKit XR plugin that is compatible with what we're doing with MRTK, it's going to be 2.1.2. So we need to go ahead and install that version. Let's go ahead and click on Install. All right, so it looks like that is completed. So as far as packages and different plugins that we need, that's everything that we need to do there. So the last steps are going to have to be done on different profiles for the Mixed Reality Toolkit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this object, which is called Mixed Reality Toolkit. We're going to go ahead and go down. It's going to show you here that the default profile, it's the HoloLens 2 configuration profile. We're going to be cloning that. And you can name that however you want. I'm just going to clone it, and we can just name it. It's basically going to be for ARKit in this case. I'm just going to call it ARKit. And we can just go ahead and hit Clone. Or if you want to be more generic, you can also do Mobile. And then that's going to work for either ARKit or AR Core. I'm going to go ahead and click on Clone. Now, the last thing that we need to do is once we have the profile created on the custom profiles, we're, go we're going to go into the camera options, which is going to be here. And then I'm going to clone that as well. It's going to show you the, that this is going to be a different profile. I'm just going to do mobile as well. And then click on clone. Now, what we need to do is we need to go into the camera settings provider. And we're going to be adding a new camera settings provider. So if you click on that, it's going to give you that option. You're going to expand this here. And it's going to tell you, you know, what type of data provider this is going to be. In our case, we're going to be using this for the Unity AR. So I'm going to click on the Microsoft Mixed Reality Toolkit Experimental Unity AR. Click on that. And that's basically everything that we need to do was for setup. That's going to tell MRTK that we're going to be using Unity AR. It's going to be setting up the camera and anything, anything that it needs in order for this to be rendered in AR. So the last thing that we need to do is go into File, Build Settings. And then, again, make sure that you have the right scene at it. And make sure that you have the right platform selected. In my case, it's iOS. Again, if you wanted to do Android, you could do that. And then we can just go ahead and build it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my desktop. And then we can just call it MRTK. In this case, it's going to be iOS. Let's click on Save. 
And then once you click on save, it's going to build it and then you're gonna be able to push it to the device either with you know Xcode or if you wanna push your APK to your Android, you can do that as well. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.